horses, talking Jeep trails, mud runs. Sounds like an outdoor lover's a paradise. It certainly does, and it's all at one Central Florida location. Fox 35's David Martin is at Wildwood Recreational Park this morning to show us more. Good morning, David. That's right, Danielle and Bob, and all that fun you just mentioned is now coming indoors because in Florida it rains a lot and there's a lot of lightning too. Hence the new roof, the new indoor building here at Wildwood. Let me talk to my friend Cindy Spiker who runs this place. Cindy, good morning to you. Good morning. All right, so congratulations on the opening of this. Thank you. All right, so what was the idea of putting a roof over a motocross track in Florida? The weather. Yeah, if it's raining, you can come inside and ride. We're actually going to extend the back section so it's going to come out of the building. But if it's raining, you stay inside. Who can ride in here? What kind of vehicles do you recommend come inside here? Any motocross bikes can come in. Terrific, I mean, but not ATVs. No, no ATVs, not on this track. And what kind of jumps and, and obstacle course do you have in here? It's going to be like a little arena cross track. Fantastic. And will it be open on the same days your outdoor track will be open? Yes, Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. We open at 10 a.m. Excellent. Let me introduce the audience to one of your riders here this morning because I'm fascinated by his story. Steve Agronic, it is a pleasure, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you. Steve, may I give your age on yeah, television? Sure. Okay. Sure. He's 75 years old. He's a world mountain bike champion for 70 plus. What year did you win? 2014. 2016. Man can pedal like nobody else, but you've just recently gotten into motocross again. I did. Last September, I decided to take up where I left off just because it was on my bucket list, and I've met, I, I, I picked up where I left off. I won my first race back, and I've won almost every one since. Outstanding. And the bike that you're on, this is a vintage bike, is it not? It's a 1975 Can Am made in Canada. Uh, it's a 175. The only of one of 1,500 ever made. Wow. All right, back to that indoor track. Do you like what you see here? Excuse me? Do you like what you're riding out here? Oh, this is great. It's, it's tight, it's fun, and it's not muddy. <laughs> yeah. And there's not many of it. It's kind here in, in well, the only one in Florida. You don't ride indoor very often. Never. Uh, back when I was a pro, which was like 20-something years ago, they had stadium. They were starting the stadium motocross, and some of those were like Astrodome. They had them there. Certain places were indoor, but nothing like this in Florida. This is amazing. Amazing. You heard it here from the man himself. Amazing. Come over here, my friend. Give me the website really quick for all this information. The website is? It's uh, www.wildwoodmotocross.com. And then our Facebook page is Wildwood Motocross Compound. Congratulations again, my friend Cindy Spiker. Danielle, Bob, you now have some place to bring your kids this weekend. Wildwood, Sumter County. Back to you. You know how kids always walk down and have to hit the top of an, an awning or yeah, something? I wonder yeah. if you can get 